to search the library of things that have already been created in Flip that you can go in and edit to use with your students. You're gonna come up to the top right corner and click on your icon. And here you're gonna come down to Discovery. Once you click on Discovery, this will be everything that someone has already created and submitted to Discovery for Flip. So you see there are 48,263 topics already created by the Flip community that's ready for you to go. So you would just search your topic. So if you are teaching angles, you would type in angles and press enter. And there's 224 topics about angles in Flip. So you would click on subject right here to kind of filter it down. Maybe you just want angles only if they said it was a math lesson and only if they said it was for middle school students. So I've clicked it, now they've filtered it down to 39 topics. I can kind of scroll through, see which ones I want to use with my students. If you look over here, you can see how many people or how much time people have used it already. So they, this has been engaged with for five hours and 34 minutes and used 78 times. So this is probably a good one. If I keep scrolling down, I can see that this one was only six minutes and 40 seconds and only used five times. So it might be good, it might not. You can just kind of click on it and see. So let's look at that one. You can see that this person that created it put in a YouTube video that the students would go in and watch. Watch the movie, they'd answer the question and then record their answers. So I can come in here, add to topic. I'm gonna to click add to your groups and then select the group that I want this to show to. So I want it to show to my practice group. Click save to group. And now it has been added to the group and it's active. So if I wanna go in and edit things, I will go to my topics and then click on the little pencil to edit the topic. So I can change the title here. I can change the descriptions if I wanted to. And I can also take off the little video or the time. Or change my recording time. So if I wanted to edit the recording time, I would go in change it to however long I wanted it to be and then update my topic and then now the students will have this to, to look at so as in the student view if you click on record you can see that when they click right here this is going to bring up the directions so they get to watch the movie by just clicking here watching the movie Today, we are learning. and then when they are done watching the video they're going to come back to flip and record their response so they would click right here and start recording